Welcome to my very affordable, unsponsored 10 minute makeup routine. Okay, I'm starting with this NYX Photo Loving Primer. Seriously though, I don't know what the deal is with YouTube and social media nowadays, but I feel like every makeup video I come across is very obviously sponsored or they're done by people who have thousands of followers and can afford to splurge on like charlotte tilbury i actually don't know how much charlotte tilbury is so i can't say that they're you know what i mean like they're just splurging on products that the normal average jane like me and you can't afford and if you're here and you can't afford products like that welcome because neither can i i'm gonna show you you don't need the giorgio armani you don't need the dior bronzer i feel like i don't put enough foundation on to say that i do foundation sometimes i just skip this step but for the sake of a video we're gonna do it this is the elf halo glow liquid filter it looks so dark like if you look at that and then look at my face and i'm telling you i i really don't think it's that dark wait is it That's about all I do, so basically nothing. But here I go with the concealer. I do have a heavy hand with concealer, so it kind of makes up for it. This is also by e.l.f., not sponsored. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. Like I said, I do have a heavy hand with this concealer, so I like to do swipe, swipe. Do the little whisker look. For my concealer and foundation placement, I just go wherever i'm feeling for the day obviously i always do the chin and under the eyes um actually i am gonna cover up some of my acne marks on my cheeks i have been back and forth blending with a sponge and a brush but i think i just like the sponge better because i always keep coming back to it as you probably saw i didn't put anything on my forehead so i just take whatever's left on the sponge and then just spread it to the forehead i don't know why i do that i think i just don't like the way makeup sits on my forehead moving on to probably the worst part for me because i have a heavy hand i'm hoping i don't mess it up today bronzer the bronzer that i use is actually in this palette that i got when here for christmas i don't know the shade oh wait does it say right there no. I'm pretty sure that this palette is by the Ulta Beauty brand. I'll just link one of their bronzers. Hopefully it's the same thing. I use this fluffy angled brush. I lightly dip sometimes. This thing is so pigmented and does not come off if you make a mistake. I start with the forehead. For the sake of the video, I'm building it slowly, but usually I will put way too much on my brush and then spend like five extra minutes trying to blend it out so now that the forehead is looking a little bit better i go like right here by my hairline to kind of just make it all look like one piece around my face and not like moving down to the cheeks it's looking real dark it does not look like that in my mirror. It doesn't look like that. I prom- I pr Alright, last step of bronzer. Just do little swirls near the jaw. Snatch the jaw. I like to take the tiniest amount of bronzer and just brush it back and forth. For blush, I'm just going to use the same palette. Sometimes I'll use a cream blush, but today, I'm not feeling it. I'm going to take from this one today. I used this one yesterday and... I'm just not a soft pink girl. Before, I only used to put it on like this high point of my cheek, but I started doing it right here on the apples, and I think it's just so cute. It makes me look softer. Because sometimes my resting face is just so angry, and I don't try to look that way. Sometimes I'll see an off-guard picture of myself, and I'm like, why do you look so mad? I don't really think blush placement can make me look any nicer but in my mind it does still using the same brush i'm just gonna go back and forth in between the blush and the bronzer just super lightly and do it right under un, uh, right on my eyelid perfect okay next up i'm taking this little tiny angled brush sometimes i'll do this with eyeliner sometimes i'll do it with eyeshadow because the palette's already out i'm gonna do the deepest brown shadow that they have and i'm just putting it right on top of my eyelashes towards the outside of my eye just to make the eyelashes look a little fuller towards the end it gives a great illusion if you don't do that you should try that stop getting the eyelash serums and do this i'm just kidding no i should probably get an eyelash serum 
so that I don't have to do this. Speaking of eyelash serums, I'm not gonna say any names because I don't wanna get any emails from this certain company. Not too long ago, I tried an eyelash serum from a very famous company and the next morning I woke up and my eye was bloodshot red. I'm just gonna set my brows with this Got To Be Glued eyebrow gel that I love and I talk about quite a bit. gonna brush them up and leave them for a second to kind of get tacky while I do my mascara and then after I'm done I'll fix them and like lay them down. I don't even have my mascara. One second. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Not waterproof. Not a fan of the waterproof. For someone who cries a lot I should be. I'm gonna apply it with a mirror underneath my face. My mascara always comes out the best when I do it this way. I also do the blink and shimmy so I'll put it right at the bottom. Blink shimmy it out wink shimmy wink shimmy oh my goodness my eyebrows are probably dry i got carried away lay them down i would love to get another brow lamination but it's just not in the budget right now i'm in the process of getting laser hair removal which has been taking up a huge chunk of my paychecks. I only have had one session so far. I go in for my second session this week. I can already tell after one session, 100% worth my money. Final step for the face, I am gonna put a little bit of loose powder on. This is, I don't even remember. I think it's like by Revolution. It was really popular years ago and I bought it and I still have it and I still use it. I don't like to do a lot because my face is kind of dry. So I apply it also with this beauty blender. And I do it mostly around my nose and underneath my eyes because that's where my makeup wears off the fastest. Um, and also my chin. And our final step, I feel like this really elevates the look. If I'm trying to be a little bit more fancy and I'm going out, I will line my lips with this NYX lip pencil. I don't think it has a name. Nope, this is in the shade Mauve. And then I take some Burt's Bees. Usually on top, I'll put a layer of the Sephora Gloss Lip Gloss, but I ran out yesterday. So I'm gonna use a Dr. Pawpaw Lip Balm. That's the look. Thank you for watching if you watched the whole thing. I hope this put into perspective that you don't need the Charlotte Tilbury. You don't need the Dior. Would it be nice to have? Yes, but you don't always need it. So I hope I brought a little realism to your Saturday morning. I normally am not like this, but please subscribe because we're almost at a thousand subscribers. And I do want to do a giveaway, so hurry up and subscribe so we can do the giveaway. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.